Hi everyone, how are you? It's Casey. I wanted to make a kind of quick video today. I really have no plan for it. It's just something that's been on my list for a while. So I thought it's a beautiful sunny day today. I'm gonna pop on and get this video recorded. Um, so one of the questions that I get the most in my shop that is one of the hardest questions to answer is what color body matches my doll? So I wanted to kind of do a video about the different shades of Blythe. Um, so there really are six recognized colors. So there's white, um, which is normally always called white. <laughs> and then there is a color that goes by several names depending on the person natural pink flesh there's been multiple color um, names for this one but those are all included in that one and i like to call it not white <laughs> because it's it's the easiest whatever way you want whatever name you have for it it's just not the lightest white body and then the next one is sort of a newish color called light tan. Um, right now, the only bodies that I've been able to find in this color have the larger breasts, but hopefully, and no, no joint in the neck. So hopefully we'll get this tone, although I don't find that a lot of dolls match this tone. Um, so... I don't worry about it too much, but I did have a lot of people asking for it, so I do carry it in my shop. Then there is just the regular tan, um, and that's usually what that one is called. Now it's sometimes it's called darker tan, now that we have this lighter tan, darker tan, or regular tan. And then there's the black, which is normally just called black. Um, and then there's the super black. Um, I've seen black used interchangeably between these three colors, um, but because this one really is the lightest, the most common is tan, black, and super black. Um, so there's also translucent as far as face plates go. I don't carry any translucent supplies, so I sort of avoid that, but there is that one in there too. And as far as the color body that works with translucent, um, it is, I'm assuming it's one of these, but I, I just don't have enough experience with translucents, at least um, doll part translucents. I've done an authentic doll once, um, I think I've done one, and I think she was the lighter tone, but I can't remember, so I'm not gonna say. So those are the main jointed body colors. I did wanna share that I do now have the flat chested darker bodies in my shop. Um, don't have the tilt neck, which is a bummer, but I have noticed that the manufacturers are starting to do a lot more colors as you can see when i first started in blythe i think there were the two light skin and there was like one darker skin um so we definitely have made progress in skin tones which on the one hand is wonderful uh for collectors but on the other hand has been difficult because of the confusion of which body matches my doll. So I often get messages in my Etsy shop that say, I have this doll, what body should I buy? And it's really hard for me to <laughs> answer that question without having the doll in front of me. So I have no idea if this video is gonna help or cause more confusion, but I thought I would at least um, have a resource of the colors as they are um, that we can refer to. So as far as the face plates, again, there are the five main colors and then the translucent, which I don't have here. So there's the white, the pink, the tan, the black, and the super black. So this one here really matches this body best. So there really isn't a face plate that matches this one um, perfectly. Although 
one of the things that I've noticed is even though this is sort of like the standard, authentic dolls have different shades. So even if you get a doll that you think is pink, sometimes she's really pink and this body might not even look great with her. Or she's somewhere between the white and the pink and it's hard to decide which body fits. And it can be the same way with some of these skin tones where probably either one of these bodies would work. So what I wanna tell you, at least what I do as far as bodies go, um, is I don't worry about it too much. I pick whatever is the closest and go with that because most likely it's not gonna be noticeable once it's on the doll, if it is a little bit off, most bodies are not going to match completely perfectly. Um, if it bothers you and the body is off enough that it bothers you, you can color the body. Um, and I've done that and lots of people do that. The only thing you wanna be careful about with bodies if you're spraying them, so if you're gonna color them the same way you do the face, with Mr. Super Clear and pastels. You do have to spray. And when you spray in these joints, there is the possibility of sort of messing up your artwork. So whenever I've done coloring on a body, I typically try to only color the areas of the body that will be seen um, when clothing is on. I, I don't think many of us pose our, our dolls naked, so the entire body does not need to be colored. So what I'll do is cover the body in plastic except for, say, the arms and the bottom of the legs and maybe a little bit around the neck, and I will do coloring there. And, and sometimes you don't have to do an all-over color match. You just need to blush or do some highlighting and that contrast on the body that variation in tone will make the the head match better especially after you've painted the face as well so um you know you can make a body that's not a perfect match work for sure so those are the jointed bodies so the other type of body um, that many people use on Blythe and that I carry is the Lika or Lika. It depends on who you ask, how to pronounce it. Um, and these kind of vary also mainly because of the skin tone issue. So the two main colors are the Caucasian and the not Caucasian. Um, I think this is pretty tan to call it black, but um, it's definitely not the white. Um, and that's pretty limiting on, on the face plates that'll match. So I've used this body on both the pink and the white, and it, it's typically fine. And I've used this one. I don't think I've done the super dark skin but it matches this one pretty well and it will match this one pretty well so they do have some other options but with these two so this is the tan and this is the dark or super black um they're not the greatest so they don't have the tilt neck that's one thing um this one's okay as far as sturdiness but for some reason the dark skin really has these super bendy legs and i don't know why um but they all do it's not necessarily a flaw like a batch flaw it's just the way that they are so they're not that awesome if you're putting them on a doll you will need to most likely put her in some very sturdy shoes and maybe even put like a wire or um, sticks in the back of her shoes so she doesn't flop over. It all depends on how heavy the head is. Um, it's unfortunate because it's a nice color, but it's not super practical for most people. So anyway, it's an option though. If you like this sort of authentic proportion style of Blythe doll. Um, so that's really it for those tones and hopefully again 
you know, as Blythe grows, maybe as a hobby, I mean, I don't know where Blythe is going, but um, the more that we ask for different skin tones, hopefully that includes um, more options, more options that we like, like the tilt neck and whatever. But um, that's it for now on those. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. I hope this gives you a little bit of a little clarity on the different shades and the bodies that will match. I'm still always open for you to ask me. Um, it's just sometimes hard on computer monitors to really know, especially if you are um, trying to look at the difference between the tan. Sometimes it's just really hard to tell. So as always, thanks for watching. I'm hoping to be back soon with, with more of a tutorial video. I am still working on the new carving video. We've just been having a lot of dark and rainy weather now that we're in winter. Um, so I haven't made much progress on that, but it will be a slow, slow work in progress. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you all again soon. Bye.